In this video, I'm going to talk about how to find the missing length in a right triangle uh, when it's the leg of the triangle that's uh, missing rather than the hypotenuse, uh, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem, just uh, as a reminder, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared in a triangle, a right triangle. So we have to have a right triangle to use the Pythagorean theorem. And we have the triangle labeled ABC, where C is the hypotenuse. Now, in this case, we know what the hypotenuse is. So it's a different type of problem. In another video, I showed you how to find the hypotenuse if you were missing the hypotenuse. Now, these other two sides of this right triangle are, are known as the legs. So here we have A here and B here. These are the legs of the triangle. Right, and this is the hypotenuse. So we know what the hypotenuse is. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So we know that the hypotenuse here, this is our C value, is 25 centimeters. And we know what our A value is, so we're missing our B value. We're missing one of the legs. So what we're going to do is we're just take the information that we've been given, we're going to plug it into the Pythagorean theorem. So I have 14 squared plus x squared is going to be equal to 25 squared. So 14 squared plus x squared is equal to 25 squared. And I can go ahead and pull out a calculator and we can start doing some calculations. So I say, what's 14 squared? Well, 14 squared is 196. Down, rewrite this statement. This is 196 plus x squared is equal to 25 squared. I want to know what 25 squared is. I can just plug it into my calculator. 25 squared is 625. So 625 on the right hand side. So what I need to do now is I actually have to solve this equation for x. And to do that, I need to isolate x squared on the left-hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 196 from both sides. Subtract 196 from both sides. And in doing that, we're going to be left with just x squared on the left-hand side. So it's 625 minus 196. 429. So x squared is equal to 429. So whenever we're solving equations, we're always using opposite operations to uh, eliminate stuff that's being done to x. Right now, we have uh, x being multiplied times itself. So the opposite of squaring is the square root. So we're going to have to take the square root of both sides. So if I take the square root of x squared, that's simply equal to x. So I can say that x is equal to the square root of 429. Now I could just leave my answer like this, but most of the time we want some sort of decimal approximation. So we're going to plug this in. Let's take the square root of 429. Use our handy dandy calculator. There we go, I'm getting 20.712, bang, 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 and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So we're just going to round this to one decimal place. Say so it's about 20.7, it's approximately 20.7. And if I go back up to the problem, you'll notice that my units were in centimeters, so I could say that this is 20.7 centimeters.